What is up everyone? I am motherfucking back. Right back at you for the fucking ass. And I ain't playing around. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. And I got the dope, raw, and uncut exclusive interview with the legendary hometown hero of Detroit, Dorie Jose. Bitch, I'm really in that pot, a, And I take them out of town and if it's hot, a, And I take them on the chase and I won't stop. And I took that bus like 800 times. Well, will I stop, a? Never, we're gonna stop. All right, in order to get started right away, if you're not already subscribed I'd love to have you on the team I'm always making new content all you gotta do is just hit that subscribe button all right let's fucking go yes! all right cool how's it going brother how you doing today chilling taking it easy oh yeah same here hey just let everybody know you're watching the honor show I'm sitting here with my man Dorie Jose, and we're gonna kick this interview. And I'm really excited to have you on the show and shit, man. I, this is this is some good shit. I'm really excited to have you. I'm excited myself. Yeah, thanks, brother. So, um, let's. I guess we'll start off with. Tell us, uh, what? How old were you when you first started writing rhymes? Man, I was young, bro, like seven to eight, for real. Oh, yeah. Um, do you remember, I saw that was a long time ago when you were young, but do you remember what any of your earliest rhymes were or what they were about or how any of them went? Just being like Lil Wayne, shit, like fifth grade. That's when I really like, <laughs> I remember my old fifth grade, <laughs> fifth grade rhyme. Yeah. She was crazy. I wanted to rap like uh, Fabulous and Lil Wayne at that time. Nice. Oh yeah, that's cool as hell. Um, that, I was going to ask, uh, that was, brings me to the next question. What were some of your favorite rappers growing up? Uh man, you know the normal like everybody else, Tupac, Jay Z, Lil Wayne, Big Mike, uh Mystical, like uh Fifty. It's a lot of people, bro. It's so many people that I that I listen to growing up and influenced by I got a dandy, I got the Detroit Legends, the Blade Ice Woods, the Street Lord Ones, yeah. <laughs> the Trick Tricks, yeah, the Bazaars, the yeah. M and M's, my yeah. guy Slim Shady. Yeah, hell yeah. Ice Word Bezos, yep. K Rose. Nice. And then what would you say was was your biggest influence? Is basically pretty much all them guys, huh? Yeah, definitely. Some some kind of way all those artists influenced me, bro. Right. Some type of way. Yeah. That's cool. That's why I love rap and I love how it goes on, you know, through the generations and you know, other artists hear other artists and it and it turns them on to shit and it's like, damn, and now we've got this legendary artist right here made of all that. Definitely. Thank you, thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Yeah, big props, man, big props. Um, let's see here. Now, I know I heard on your new hit single, Paper, right, that, uh, you know, you're saying some stuff about going to juvie as a kid and everything. Um, I was wondering, did, what, what happened with some of that? Now, you ain't got to say no details off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just, got kicked out the house because, you know, when I was young, I can talk, it was, you know, I don't glorify, but when I was like 13, I was selling drugs and robbing people and, just doing all the little bad stuff. I was like one of the baddest, if not the baddest kid in my neighborhood growing up. One of them. <laughs> Shooting dice and just everything. Just getting into it in school. But I always was smart in school, so that was kind of my gateway. But going to juvenile, my mama just, she told me she going to lock me up before the streets get me. So she, she she set me down before I could catch a case. For like one of the greatest things ever that happened to me because I you know, fell in love with reading books. That's cool. That's cool. And see, some of the shit that parents do when we're kids and we hate it, but it turned out to to give us these, to, to, you know, what we're built of now. It gave us a foundation. It gave us, you know, something to hold on to. And I, I oh, thanks, brother. I appreciate parents that do that. My parents had to set me down a few times. I, I got kicked out of the house. I had to, like, go. Since I didn't actually do anything a couple of the times, the cops would just bring me to the crisis shelter, and I'd live there for, like, months on end, go home for a week, be back there for another summer, three, four months. And then I would end up getting on because they'd be like, well, this is the second, third probation. So, you know, I spent my whole damn life either probation, parole, or in something. But yeah. It always be like that too. Start off early. 
<laughs> right, right. So that's why I was kind of interested in, you know, what you were saying on there. Because coming from a guy who's been through some of that shit, you know, it's like, man, I, 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 I feel that, you know, when I listen to it. It's something that, that resonates with me, so. Yeah, it's all real, too, though, bro. I try to, like, I don't really talk about my problems a lot, but I just use the music as a tool for me to vent through, for real. Yes, yes. I remember saying that during the review when I was talking. When you said that, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, when you said that, I'm like, he right on point. Anybody who know me know I'm real laid back. I'm always hyped. I don't never talk about my personal issues. So I just use the music. That's a great way, too, because even listening to it, somebody else who might be going through that, it helps them work out what they're going through, too. So that's dope. Hell, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, who was around you growing up? Like, did you have uh, brothers, sisters, cousins, or were like parents, <laughs> uncles? Like, who was your main family that you were around a lot? Thanks, brother. Man, my main family was. Uh, let me see. I don't know. I got so many parts of my life, bro. Being on so many parts, I got to promenade. Like, it depends on what age is for real, bro. Because I grew up on promenade, Harper, part of my life. Then I got some cousins over there. Then I got some cousins on Mac. And B week, then I got some cousins on East Warren, Everson. So that makes sense now. <clears throat> After listening to some of your songs and that other interview I watched that you did, because I watched a lot of your shit, how you were talking about, you know, moving around the city and being able to just balance it like that, and then being able to do that with the states too. So that that makes sense, you know, if you lived here and there and went through different periods of your life like that, then yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that I feel like that was practice right there. I was always wondering why I was like, wasn't like too big on staying in my own neighborhood when I was little. I was just trying to go everywhere else. And then I did the same thing with America. I love traveling. Yeah, well, yeah. Get to see other things and see other even cultures in different parts of the, you know even different parts of the city, even the different parts of the state. You see different cultures and things. That's neat. I like moving around too. I haven't got to move around a whole ton, but I got to see a couple of cool things. So, but yeah. Um, let's see here. What uh, what would you say is I, actually I I could probably answer this, but what 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 would you say is the inspiration behind your songs? Uh, so how I write it is I if I hear the beat, the beat made me think about a situation. So if you listen to my music, all my music is topic driven. So depending on the mood that I'm in or how I feel, I write the music like that. Okay. And I like it's the music out like that. So if I'm mad, I'm I, I'm influenced like that and come up with some songs. If I'm going through something, same thing. If I got some money, if I don't got some money, I just put it out, put it out through the music. Okay. Nice. Oh yeah. I like that. Um <clears throat> This is a little more on the personal side. Um, are you a spiritual person at all? Yes, for sure. I I heard my that. Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Shout out to my Savior. <laughs> Shout out to my boy, my right hand man, and his father. I thought I uh, I thought I heard some of that in some of your music, but I didn't want to assume. You know what I mean? I never want to just yeah. say, oh, "Yeah, this this person," without actually asking. So that's cool. Shout out, yeah. Shout out to Jesus myself. He's uh, honestly, I I wouldn't be here. I'm not going to talk about all of it, but I honestly would not be here to several different situations if he wouldn't have just saved me. So, um, let's see here. Who who would you say this is? This is a hard one, especially for guys like me and you that love rap and listen to a lot of different very skilled rappers. And you're in Detroit, where I mean that's one of my favorite. That that's one of my fucking favorite. Detroit rap. And uh. I was, but who who would you say is your top five favorite rappers? Uh, Tupac, Jay Z, Lil Wayne, Street Lord Juan, uh, Gucci Man. Thank you, Billy. I know that's a hard list to come up with. It's hard for me to come up with because it's like, man, Eminem, Young Z, Easy E. You know, but then I got you know King Gordon. You said top. You said top five. So if I would have went ten, I can or. See, with them, with them, with them top fives, you can organize them the way you want to. Right. You know. Right. Exactly. And everybody got name in like in their own pocket too. So Lil Wayne is different from Gucci Man. Right. Gucci Man different from Pop. Right. And Pop different from Jay Z. Right. Exactly. 
And then when I start getting into Detroit rap, it's like there's just so many, like you said, bizarre. All the guys from D12, I love King Gordy. I love Big Herc, Young Herc, Baby Herc. I listen to you. I listen to Casino Cuzzo. I've been listening to KDZ and Jesse James and shit. And, you know, so many guys. From- Man, I definitely, them all my guys. I ain't going to lie. I, a lot, a lot of, a lot of my stuff go to Big Hurt. I feel like he was the only one. I'm like, if I can be like Big Hurt with my lyrics, I'd be unstoppable. If like I can be the trap, Big Hurt was the only trap rapper who spoke like he read the encyclopedia every time. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm talking about like dog. That, that's one yeah. of the best lyricists ever. Hell yeah, hell yeah. What a guy to get inspiration from. Because it's the first time I heard him, I was like, yes, I need to listen to more of that. Where is this? And I started looking him up and shit. And I was like, "Fuck yeah!" I just, I, I love that Detroit rap scene, man. I love it. I love it. It's like, yeah, Big Hurt. He, it's like he's at the top of shit, you know. But a lot of it, like Trick Trick, I love all them guys. All that shit. I, I can't get enough of it. And the DJ Butter, I've, I've been listening yeah. to DJ Butter, you know, all of his records since I can remember. Jay Dilla, Jay yeah. Dilla, can't forget about him. Oh yeah. Blade Icewood. Man. Oh, yeah. Three Lord yep. All that Detroit shit. I love it. What about uh how, switch what about your favorite five producers? From where? All around or just Detroit? All around. Uh that's kinda hard right there. Hey. That's another tough one where it's more like easier to make a top ten real quick, but it's so many great producers, man. So many. There's a lot of them. You got Young Guru, Jay Z producer. You got Pharrell. You got Payroll Giovanni. Great. You got oh, Dame Dot. You got yeah. Meech. You got uh, who else in the industry? 808 Mafia, if I ain't say them. Uh, man, Zaytoven, of course. Yep. The Olympics. Everybody who make Rick Ross beats, I ain't gonna lie. Whoever making Rick Ross beats, <laughs> hit yeah. me up. <laughs> I'm doing some justice. Yeah. yeah, he does got a lot of cool sounding beats, man. Where I just he, he gets into it. I love it. Hell yeah! I guess for me, I would say my five. Just to throw it out there quick, because I, I wanted to. I like to shout out DJ Butter all that I can. He's a cool ass dude. DJ Butter, Dr. Dre, DJ Mugs, DJ Unique, who did most of the bone, the first couple Bone albums. And uh, Eminem, I love Eminem's beats. I love that shit. Wherever, like almost any time I hear where somebody features him as a producer, I hear that beat. I'm like, Eminem made that shit. And I go look it up. Yep, there it is. But, yeah. A lot of people don't even know Eminem has beats. Right. And you know, he don't even charge people for beats, I guess. He just does. No. What he's, doing. he's got a catalog like that of beats that he's done that are hits. I ain't gonna lie. I'm one of them people that... Like I love Eminem, so it's like that's why. It's so each artist got so much that means so much to me. But me and him is so similar right. in a lot of ways. I feel like he helped carry me when I was going. I don't know. Eminem is just I don't care what nobody else said about Eminem. I love Eminem. He he don't never got to come back and do nothing. What he did from the from Eight Mile the movie <laughs> and what he did with Trick Trick and Royce the Five Nine and. Right. All the other Detroit artists, I applaud that, and I, I appreciate him for his contribution to the music industry yeah. in Detroit. Me too, and I love the fact that, you know, he always is shouting out other rappers and stuff, and, like, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have heard of Big Herc at first. You know, that's who showed me Big Herc. That's who show, shouted out, like, because of him, I started, like, man, who else, and D12, I was like, who else is in the Detroit scene? And I started looking and watching battles and listening to shit, and that's how I got into it. So I, I really thank him for that. He showed me, a, like, almost like a whole side of rap that I wouldn't have known. So all the Detroit cats that I listened to, it's because M was like, Detroit, and I was like, cool, I'm going to go check it out. And here I am, you know. Here I am wearing the Casino Cuzzo sweatshirt. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That's my guy too. Hey. That's one. Of, that's one of the greatest too. Yep. He is. He's my good. uncle. All of it. All of it. Hell yeah. Then um, let's see here. I wanted to kind of know this. What what were some of your favorite movies growing up? Like some of the gangster movies and shit. <laughs> uh, man, I watch every movies. So I like movies like Lean on Me. I like uh, Scarface. 
I like juice. I like fresh. Yep. I like uh what else? What else I like? I like I don't know, man. Gangster movies, boys in the hood, you know, the normal like everybody else. Uh shots, son of God. Yeah, stuff like that. Cool. Um when you first started writing rhymes, did you know then when you were a kid when you started writing that, yes, I'm gonna be a rapper, or was there a different time in your life where it just kinda clicked and you were like, Yes, this is it. This is this is what I'm gonna do. This is this is You know how everybody else would be like, Man, no, I just when I just started rapping. Man, I just want I know I've been rapping my whole life. When I was a little kid I knew I was gonna rap. Yes. I knew this something I was gonna do. Yes. I knew I was gonna be big. I don't know when or how it was gonna happen. But I knew it was gonna happen. I know it's gonna happen. It's happening and it's gonna continue. Yeah, it's happening. I'm in the process <laughs> I'm in the process right now, but you know, there's something that's, that I always wanted to do. Oh, yeah. Well, that's good. I love that. Because, honestly, like, it, it took me a while to even realize what I wanted to do because I always loved music, but I just didn't know. I was like, well, I, I don't know what I should do. Like, but there's just something about me. So I was like, all right, I'm going to do this. But I, I always love hearing when somebody knows from a young age what they want to do and it brings that plan to fruition. And it yeah. happens like that. That's always just like a hero story to me. It's like, yeah. Man, this 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 one of the ones too though. I'm talking about Oh yeah. I know Kazo told me too. He goes, Man, my nephew, he goes, if he says it, it's it's that way. He ain't he don't pull no BS, it ain't it, it ain't no bullshit and it's one hundred all the time. And I know if he tells me that it is. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah. Um my son wanted to know um, he asked that he wants uh, what your favorite restaurant is, what's your favorite food, and what your favorite snack to eat at home is. Uh, I like Fishbone, uh, and Bucharest and Coney Island. <laughs> I'm a Detroit boy, so I like all those. Uh, my favorite chill food is, I'm, I don't know, uh, taco salad, taco salad and noodles, chicken noodles or taco salad. <laughs> I love it. I no matter, it. no matter, no matter what, I gotta have it. Oh yeah. What about your favorite drink to sip on? Uh, some Sprite. Give me some Sprite or some water. Nice. Me too. A Sprite and water. I I like that pH water, that nine five pH water, and then yeah, the alkaline water. Yeah. Yep. I what? But it ruined me. Once I started drinking it, every other bottled water tastes bad to me now. And make your stomach hurt if you drink another time. Yeah. Is that what's wrong with me? <laughs> seriously, something's going on. I haven't had. That's gonna be having my stomach hurt. And that's gotta be what's going on with me too. It's crazy. Um, let me ask this: If you could work with any three rappers to do a feature with, who would they? Who would you want to do it with right now? Um, Rick Ross first. Uh. Um, Drake and Andre 3000. Yeah, old school. I like it. I, man, he can rap too. He's one of the greats too. That he's he threw together some. What on that music box? Album, I can't. What song is it? I can never remember. What it was, but he's talking about eating in the devil's kitchen or whatever. He went off on that shit. Man, and he go hard. He go super hard. He goes super hard. I, Man, I, I wish I could remember. I'm gonna have to look that up and get back to you on that and tell you what that one was because I, you, you, yeah, that, that song is shit. Um, if you could, what about any three producers? If you could have any three producers produce a track for you right now, we kind of talked about a little of this already, but <laughs> um, um, uh, Justice League, uh. Uh, what's dude name who, uh, Jacob, ATL Jacob, and, uh, Hitmaker. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I hear him on a lot of beats and shit, too. He's, he's got a lot of good ones. A lot of them. Lots of them. Um, what, what other things have you done to, you know, try, I've had to, you know, work at restaurants. I've done telemarketing. I've done labor jobs and shit to get by. And I also I've hustled too, and you know had, went to that avenue. What, what kind of other things have you done to, you know, to help make your dreams as a rapper come true? 
Bro, I done so much you wouldn't believe. My resume looks crazy. <laughs> you're a hard worker, you're intelligent, and you're in whatever you do, I can tell you go for it. Like there ain't no stopping you. So I know no matter what you were doing, it was you would go for it. So Yeah, bro, everything, bro. I'm talking about from working at factories to every to what I'm doing right now, for real. To uh, being a dad and running a business. Nice. So I'm doing everything. I'm I'm into politics, I'm into city improvements i'm into all type of stuff that's cool that's dude that's better cool. myself that's super cool like city improvement and politics shit because that's stuff that's going to take care of at home where you are and and, and the people around you and stuff but that's cool a lot of people don't think of that they don't get into that but they'll complain all day long about how shit's going when they could, you know, when you're out there doing something about it. So big props to you, man. Big props to you. That's cool as shit. That's super cool. Um, let's see here. Um, I this this brings you back to kind of about working and stuff. I see you got good energy. You're very intelligent. And what what stimulates and drives you forward to to give you that energy and, and to 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 use your intelligence to just go for it. The stuff I've been through, the stuff that my family's still going through, and my kids, for real. I'm just motivated by my situations and my kids, for real. That's, that's, a, that's a very honorable thing to be motivated by, and I think that's the best thing a man can be motivated by. I mean, it's, and it, it, like you said, a, a believer, too. You know, you know how, you know exactly, you know exactly. So that's cool. Um, Let's see here. Tell us. I asked you a lot of questions. Tell us what you want the people to know about Dorier. Tell us what you would like us to know. Bro, I've been grinding. I didn't give up. I didn't lose faith. And I just want to let people know if they're going through anything, just keep going. Don't give up because anything can happen. It can happen overnight for you. Right. Just uh, I'm I'm a, I'm a great I'm a great artist. I'm one of the greatest. I know what before if it's a, before it's all said and done. That's why I got so much music on the internet and on all the platforms because before I saw I said I'm go down as one of the greatest writers of all time. Yeah. Literally. I want I want they know they I want them to know they witness some greatness. I can attest to that. I've been going through this man's catalog and I'm telling you, uh, every time I turn on a different song I'm like, Whoa, did you hear that? Rewind <laughs> Rewind. There's like I don't know what my roommate thinks. I'm just out here playing the same shit over and over, trying to get it down. Cause like to me, it's a sport to be able to try to memorize it and try to say it exactly like the rapper I'm listening to. So I'll try to get it down and shit. You're, man, a lot of your cadences and stuff are are they're hard. They're not just simple stuff. And you're rhyming so many different words, and it's that like, dude. I sometimes I get lost in some of them entendres and shit, and I'm like. Whoa, 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 wait, stop. I got to write them down. And I'm like, yeah, look at this. Look at this. So, yeah, I agree. You you are going to you are gonna go down as one of the greatest writers. You are already one of the greatest writers out there rapping and doing nothing. Yeah, my bad, bro. I got my, I got my sons. They drive me crazy. That's all good. I got, I got my little boy. I got him. So. Man, the whole time, I've been trying to feed him while I'm... Uh, <laughs> while I'm no man, that's all right with me, brother. You gotta take care of this. Really... That's cool. I, I like that. See, you guys, look at this. Look at this man. He's out here grinding, making music, doing interviews, and feeding the kid at the same time. Now that's a father. That that that's that's a father's do, man. That's cool. That's cool. This ain't no. This wasn't made up. Just because I knew I I, I just <laughs> right. my, my, I just had my son a month ago. His mama had to do something, so I had to hold it down real quick. Hey, Till tomorrow. Oh, so, you know, when responsibilities call, you can't run from it. No, no. And and you know what? Making things happen and just doing them both, man, that, that's that, that's grinding, man. <laughs> hey, that that's that, that's cool, man. I, and I know it's like, because I, you know, I got my son and his mama passed away a few years ago. So it's, you know, things are getting hard, man. And, uh, you know, yeah, I, I sorry to hear that for sure. Hey, thanks, brother. You're a strong individual. Thanks, brother. I appreciate that. I, I ain't going to go into all the details. But, you know, I've even saved his life. You know, CPR, I've had to do things, and the Lord woke me up. 
then said, hey, wake up, go check your son, and he needed me, you know, and so I just, man, it's, I'm glad. <laughs> yeah. Um, that is good. That's crazy. Thanks, brother. I wanted to ask you, um, I know you watch my show all the time, and, you know, you're always commenting and liking and shit. How, how did you? Yeah. <laughs> How did you first cut, like show? Did I, like I just always like to ask people this, but yeah. Casino Cuzzo, Casino Cuzzo. <laughs> I seen him uh on there, and then I watched it, and I've been watching ever since for real. Oh, yeah, cool. Cause in my room, I was, I was like, I bet you Rel probably showed him, and then he started watching and shit, and like, yeah. So man, big props, to Casino Cuzzo, man. He's 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 had some inspirational shit to me and it came out of my life. Let's see here. And yeah, I guess I, I asked you like basically everything that I have for now. And I know you got your baby and stuff, so I don't want to keep you too long and everything. Um, But yeah, this ain't the only interview we're going to do. I'd love to have you on many more times. And you know, as things progress, let's keep doing this, man. We'll, we'll think the others. Yeah. Up. Oh, no, I won't be hurt more than this time for sure. Yeah, hell yeah. I'd be honored, brother. Honored. I had a good time talking to you, man. And yeah, I, yeah, I don't want to keep you too. I know you got your baby and stuff, but yeah, we'll keep doing this, brother. All right. Just, uh, just thanks to, uh, thanks to you. Thanks to the, uh, the honor show. Thanks to the fans. Uh, we on some big, and y'all can catch me next time. Thank you, guys. You're watching the honor show. I got the legendary Dorier Jose. Go check out his music. I'm gonna put up yes, sir. his Instagram and his uh, Twitter and uh, his uh, Instagram, Twitter. I'm gonna put up his YouTube profile, all of that, so you guys can see where to go follow him. And you go be as faithful to him as he's been to us. And you go watch all of his shit. And don't just watch. Leave likes. Leave comments. Let them know. Subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to both of the channels, The Honor Show and Dorey Jose Music Channel on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Thanks, brother. God bless you. And, hey, for real, thank you. God bless you, too, bro. For being on the show. I'm very honored. Very honored. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Hey, show my man Dorey some love. <laughs> Man, dude was super cool. He's one of my favorite rappers. All of his fucking songs literally blow my fucking head off. You guys go show him some love and go follow him on his Instagram. Go follow him on his Twitter. And you guys get your asses on his YouTube and subscribe there as well. And now, you guys can really help me out. You gotta help me! By hitting that like button for me. And so you guys never miss any future episodes, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with that little bell icon. Man, what a great night. It's been fun. Thanks for watching. God bless and have a great night, guys.